Hey there, this video is about the reproductive cycle of the human female. I'm Dr. Patty Barge. I'm a traditional naturopath and founder of Naturally Unbridled Wellness, a holistic therapy center in Onalaska, Wisconsin. And one of the things that I do is support women in regulating their cycles and addressing their fertility. Uh, I was meeting with a woman the other day and I realized she really didn't have a good understanding of her reproductive cycle and what exactly was happening. So I thought I'd just make a quick video uh, as a refresher for people who, it's been a while since you took high school health class or middle school health class where they talked about the, um, the menstrual cycle. So um, day one, one thing that people get confused about is, uh, is what is day one of the menstrual cycle? So day one is the first day of bleeding. And I usually tell women that it's the first day where you see red blood. If you're spotting a little bit before your period starts, I don't really consider that the period until you see the flow of red menstrual blood. Um, so that's day one of the menstrual cycle, which should be on average about 28 days in total. For the first 14 days of the menstrual cycle, the ovary has a developing egg that happens in a little follicle. It's sort of like a little blister. So you have the ovary and inside on that ovary is a follicle and inside the follicle is the egg. Now, as that follicle develops, estrogen levels increase. So from the first day of the period until ovulation, which is the release of the egg, which takes about 14 days, ovulation happens in the middle of the cycle, we see estrogen levels during that um, part of the menstrual cycle, estrogen levels increase. Once ovulation happens, which is the release of the egg out of the follicle um, to have it be prepared to be fertilized or not, um, then that follicle after it's ruptured turns into what's called a corpus luteum. And the corpus luteum um, secretes progesterone. Progesterone is progestation. It's the hormone of pregnancy. So if the egg is fertilized, it's the job of the corpus luteum to temporarily provide the progesterone to support that um, fertilized egg um, until the um, placenta develops and, uh, and other aspects of the hormonal cycle uh, kick in. So the first phase of the cycle is called the follicular phase and that's when um, the estrogen is increasing. Then ovulation happens and the egg is released, that's the fertile period. And then after ovulation, in the second half of the cycle, that's the called the luteal phase, that's when progesterone is, in, is highest, is in the increasing. If that egg is not fertilized around the 28th day, um, bleeding should start, um, so the start of another menstrual cycle. And that happens because, um, other chemicals in the body will actually um, basically bounce that corpus luteum off of the ovary. It's no longer there secreting progesterone and then um, the lining of the uterus that has been developing to potentially support an embryo, that lining is shed. Um, so sometimes women will come in and they're ovulating too soon, which means they're not doing a good job with estrogen. Um, sometimes they don't ovulate at all. And sometimes um, they have a lot of menstrual issues as far as breast tenderness or insomnia, hot flashes, um, those sorts of things, which can be signs that they, they're not making enough progesterone. We're able to support the body and naturally doing what it was designed to do with herbs, homeopathy, and nutrition. So I just wanted to give you a quick introduction to the female reproductive cycle. I hope that you found it beneficial and I look forward to providing more little mini classes like this. Thanks and have a healthy day.